Now, I don't know if you guys know much about this video or if you've seen much on this topic, but there is a uh, bit of a thing going on at the moment with an internet rabbit hole about smart schoolboy. Um, I'm going to let the video play for itself and we're just going to sort of react to the video and I will give my input on it because I've not watched this yet. I've just saved it to my watch later. I've not even watched this myself yet, so... Creepy accounts pretending to be kids. I came across a reel randomly and it's led me down this weird rabbit hole of people using AI or dressing up pretending to go to school. They all seem to have high heels, check images in them. Is this an age play thing or something more sinister? Okay. Literally anything helps as I keep trying to look for answers. Oh, before I forget, by the way, this uh, video is by Nick Crowley. So shout out to that person. I don't want to forget to give recognition and credit. 792 on April 15th, 2024. It featured screenshots of three bizarre looking Instagram pages they had encountered earlier that day, with OP expressing concern that something truly disturbing was happening with these users. And those on the thread agree. What the actual fuck? Found all of them and blocked them all. Truth sticks 11. It's coming. Like Wait for it. I'm trying to find more about them, but can hardly find anything. Very weird account to say the least. The three accounts apparently belong to- Also, is the volume good enough? Or do you need me to turn the volume up? Three different children. However, when combing through their posts, the content seems to imply something much more bizarre was afoot. Something truly disturbing. Tiny bit quiet. This post uh, would be the start of I'll the story that eventually picked up and shared all across the online world, becoming one of the more notorious internet mysteries in recent memory, as these accounts revealed an unending rabbit hole that is still being traversed to this very day, in an ongoing investigation into one of the most depraved oddities ever found on Instagram. This is the emerging story of Smart Schoolboy 9. One, two, three. Oh, they make it look really creepy. I mean, it is very creepy. I'm sure the response is very good, but I, I want to get to the boy, content. An account looked after by me, a degree educated mother choosing to stay anonymous. This was the bio of the first account pictured in the Reddit post, an account named Truthsticks11, which was said to be operated by a 12 year old boy and his mother. Back in October of 2021, the duo would make their very first post, kicking things off on a somewhat concerning note, though not for their own page, but instead another account on the platform. So. That's the account run by a man pretending to be a boy. <laughs> the video was created and posted by the mother for the sole purpose of warning others of a specific user who had been posing as a child online when in actuality he was a grown man who did this in order to get close to and exploit other children across the platform. However, after some time, the mother behind the account began to use the page for its initially intended purpose, to share photos of her son. The photos began reasonably normal, and would show this young boy studying at school, accepting awards from their principal, and even school presentations in which their son had attended, with the captions often boasting about how intelligent the young boy was. I can't remember though if this is the part where this account is also a grown man pretending that this is a child, or whether this was the, a legit account, I can't remember, I'm sure he'll go into it in a minute, but basically the idea is that like, there's this like, new wave of, new sort of wave going on where like these um pdf files i i can i have to say it like that um but basically uh it's this new wave where people grown adults are pretending to be children it's creepy but i can't remember whether this account is one that is also doing this or whether this is a genuine account exposing this again this is my first time watching this video so i'm not entirely sure i don't know if he'll mention certain things in this video because i've seen stuff on instagram about this nice. Though over time, the photos began to grow stranger. Twenty-seven minutes. Yeah, I think it goes over everything. They looked off, almost AI. as if they were AI generated. Exactly. And on top of this, they began to appear heavily edited in an almost inexplicable manner, with deep red they lipstick seem often really being added, really AI which generated. was enunciated by his face being turned pure white. This unsettling trend would continue from here, as with each passing post. The photos grew less authentic and more. Until they became straight up disturbed, even sickening. These bizarre edits spilled over past just the images too. This the is why to appear as disjointed collages, it's creepy. Often showcasing multiple grotesque images and paragraphs about how much this user loved school. And this wasn't the only shift either. At some point, the son behind the account began posting content that allegedly came directly from him, saying things like, My really cool mom asked me if I'd like to post, and I said, yes please. He even shared supposed videos that he had filmed of himself, which were equally as unconvincing as his photos, and somehow even more chilling. 
Oh. Oh my god. This isn't even where it gets the boy even shows like off his it gets it gets worse than this. I'm just saying that now. Cause what I've seen, it gets worse than this. The clips. Strange, isn't it? Though their voice sounds off. It seemed more than likely that whoever was behind this page was not an innocent mother concerned for the welfare of other children. I mean, this is just messed up analog horror. No, it gets worse, trust me. It gets so much worse. But instead, a predatory individual themselves. And this wasn't their only account. Because, uh, yeah, on one hand, this would be like horror, right? Like, for the most part, this would be horror. But as he just said, like... Uh, Images are being shared that aren't supposed to be shared, but also there is a predator behind this. The second page featured on the Reddit post belonged to a user named Girl Chloe 12 and bore striking similarities to Truth Sticks. This the is page where was it gets also weird. run by a child and monitored by their parent. Bizarrely, they also posted frequently about the dangers of online predators, with the wording of these posts and the editing being essentially the exact same as Truth Sticks, just not as over the top. These two accounts even frequently interacted with each other, thus providing a substantial link on its own. But by far the most compelling link between these pages is one that is easy to miss at a glance, with that being a blatant obsession with high-heeled mini boots. Oh? These shoes were mentioned or shown in virtually every single post made by these two users. At playtime, I'm sometimes running around with my really cool heeled footwear I wear with my uniform. After coming home from school, education isn't over for the day once the blue blazer, gray jersey, neat tie, white shirt, tailored close fit gray trousers, and black heeled mini boots are in the wardrobe. No matter what they discussed, school uniforms and mini boots were always a talking point, which adds confirmation to something that is already becoming apparent. What a strange, strange thing to highlight. Although, this is where it gets creepy because this is where it's not just one account, but now it starts to become multiple. This is where it becomes almost like a bit like a sort of cult-like sort of thing going on. It's very, trust me, it gets worse. This is fetish content. Not too unlike the bizarre accounts in the Pipergate rabbit hole. Fetish content centered around children. And what makes the Chloe account so disturbing is that AI was seemingly not used, and rather, the images seemed to be of actual children. Despite this disturbing distinction, these two accounts are cut from the same cloth, and all signs point to them being created by the same person. A person who, despite their constant warnings of the dangers of adults pretending to be children online, seems to be doing the exact same thing, as part of some sort of fetish, the extent of which we'll discuss later. But for now, one thing was for certain. These pages were not run by children, or their parents. So, who created them? That much is blatant. Well, that brings us to our third and final account shown in that initial post. It is where it gets creepy. Smart Schoolboy 9 was much the same as the other two accounts. They warned of online predators, obsessed over high-heeled mini boots and school uniforms, and posed as a child despite clearly not being one. But Smart Schoolboy was different in one key aspect. The person behind the account was pretending to be a child, but they were doing so in a much more apparent manner, as they didn't use AI or stolen images of other kids to form their identity. And instead, they used photos of... Themselves. Themselves. In the images posted on the account, we see what appears to be a fully grown man, dressed in a schoolboy's uniform. His face is painted pure white and has bright red lipstick. And he is, of course, wearing high-heeled mini boots. Characteristics that were all utilized across the other accounts. Only this time, it was done on himself, as he poses as a child pretending to go to school, as well as pretending to go through other life events common for preteens. And the photos aren't even the most disturbing part, as the account consists primarily of videos. Yeah, so this is what I saw on Instagram. This is where I was first introduced to it because I saw this on Instagram and I thought it was incredibly creepy. Turns out this is a whole rabbit hole that people have gone down where, um, you know, there's a, there's a lot more to the account than just cringe content, I guess, because you'll, you'll see cringe content all the time on Instagram. Freaks, man. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, this is weird. This is strange, but I don't know if this is 
I don't know if this comes from a psychological problem or whether this is just him being straight up predatory, like disgusting type of behavior. But either way, you know, this is where like I was introduced to it via Instagram because it's been absolutely spreading across the internet. I mean, th this you know, this topic alone is popular. I mean, this video already has 3 million views. It's not been it's not a video that's been out for very long, you know? So it like it is spreading like wildfire because this is really creepy. But yeah, like this is where I wanted to pause on this bit here cuz after this part, I know nothing. I know absolutely nothing. Um, but I knew about this because I've seen it. But it wasn't until I saw this video where I was like, oh, this is a this is an actual problem. Oh. <laughs> I mean it's a problem anyway, but it's cool. Hi. Let me know if you like school as well. The videos are all incredibly off-putting. Some show him arriving home from school. One, two, three, four, five, six. School. Others show him claiming to be on the bus heading towards school. Yeah. Okay. Yes, I'm on the school bus. And other videos showing him doing whatever this is. With these strange sounds and the process of sticking his tongue out appearing to be part of his fetish. It is really creepy this. This is very, very creepy. And I wouldn't be surprised if this person was behind all the accounts. Because it, it seems like that way. It seems like this is the person behind all of the all the all of the accounts. Like I, I know the words I want to say, but I don't want to say them because it's so disgusting. As much like the other accounts, his content is overtly sexual, in its own bizarre way. In fact, there's a video of him with his full outfit on, where he shows himself staring into a mirror as he appears to pleasure himself, right out of view of the camera, as That's he stares into disgusting. his own eyes. This account is by far the most sickening part of this whole rabbit hole, and also the most important. Interspersed throughout his page are a few examples of what this individual's voice sounds like. Like making the accounts to try and make himself more confident in acting these fetishes. Fetishes. I couldn't say it then. Uh, yeah, basically that's what it seems. Like he's made more, he's made all these accounts so that he can, you know, act out these urges. And it's absolutely disgusting. But that's why I said earlier, I don't know whether this is a psychological problem or just a very, very creepy problem. This is quite good. <laughs> Which just so happens to be the same voice heard in the very first clip shown on the Truth Sticks account. Man, pretending to be a- Recognize the voice. Same person it is. It's the same person in the accounts. Boy. <laughs> meaning that this full-grown adult man is the one behind this entire rabbit hole. He's the one on these accounts pretending to be a child and their mother, getting some sort of six- Pediophiles are like drug addicts. They can do stuff that's harmless and they help, but at some point it doesn't get the same kick, so they take it further. Satisfaction from whatever this is. And the Pretty worst much. part is, these activities aren't just kept behind closed doors. As we can see on numerous occasions- it, Did you notice that it was the same voice be behind that first video, so it is the same person running- all the accounts pretty much visions videos of him walking around outside in a public space with his full outfit and face paint on okay. it's truly one of the strangest things that i've ever seen and making sense of what this all is is extremely difficult but based on the information found from this first reddit post a few likely conclusions can be put forward this man is clearly attracted to the idea of being a kid, and I think OP was correct when they speculated that this was some sort of age play thing, but it's also clearly much more than that too, as based on the images that he's created himself, he clearly has some sort of attraction to other children as well, as he's quite literally created faux CP, the likes of which is so disturbing that I can't even really describe it here either. But this is why I said, is it, 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 it could also be a psychological issue, and like their brain hasn't matured into like adulthood 
<laughs> but either way, it's it's now a problem and it's now a crime because he's literally taking pictures of children. Whether it's AI generated or not, it doesn't matter, you know? So either way, this person sort of needs to uh, be investigated by the police, at least. He's creating fetish content, and he's using the likeness yeah. of children, and also yeah. some children... Doesn't matter if it's AI generated, very real he's still creating it. So. That much is obvious. But there was also the possibility that he was pretending to be a kid in order to exploit other children across the internet. At this point, though, this was merely speculation, with much of the smart schoolboy 9 case. I mean, yeah, it could be a psychological issue, but there's also not much you can do in cases like this, apart from uh, locking him up. Well, that's why I say, like, the police should investigate it, because regardless of whether it's a psychological issue, he is making AI-generated imagery, um, which is an issue, be a prison or psych hospital. Yeah, pretty much. That, that's how I think it should be handled. Because whether it's, a, like, I said, like I said, whether it's a psycho psychological issue or not, it's still problematic and it's still probably breaking many many laws this person should not be in public so i i think uh the police should investigate this but the problem with this being online activity is that when it's online activity it doesn't really get investigated very much and even if you report it a lot of the times police just don't do anything they just don't do anything so case remaining a mystery and the rabbit hole was only getting deeper from here Months after this rabbit hole was introduced, oh yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not the only one. The story began to be shared all across the internet, most notably on the r slash internet mystery subreddit, where the case really took off. There, internet sleuths began uncovering just how vast this web of accounts actually was, as it wasn't just these three pages. Yeah, no, he's not the only one. I forgot dozen, about this. Likely even more that we still haven't found, as he's created his own sort of community, his own little world. This is why I said before it's gonna now become like cult-like because he's not the only one. Where across each page he pretends to be a child, with these accounts typically following each other and frequently interacting, seemingly to make these characters appear as though they have real friends. On one of these pages, 12 Stockwell Joanne, he poses as a 14-year-old girl, using more AI images to depict explicit positions of this manufactured child, which I obviously am not going to show here. Though much like his Chloe account, he also shows images of very real young girls. But this isn't the most concerning part of this account, as on numerous occasions, he's shown images of children at a playground, which he may have taken himself. This fantasy of being a schoolgirl and taking part in these school-centric activities is something carried over throughout multiple of his accounts, with his most common alias being Stephanie, of which he has numerous different accounts featuring that same name. Yeah, I'm Actually, I don't know if this is the same person still. But either way, now it's another crime because if he actually is going out and taking pictures of children, that is another crime. So it's even more warrant for him to be locked up. But uh, I don't think that's happened yet. So, I'm pretty sure the in, the accounts this are still Stephanie going. This character claims to be a 12-year-old aspiring poet. Is this in the UK? Does this look like it's in the UK? With accounts all I across think it the is, internet, you know. many of which showcasing examples of her poetry, which carries on those same distinct sexual undertones. I race to complete my poems when I've got an early start. Heart racing, mixed rhythms, maximizing miracles. But digging even deeper, her poetry has even seemingly been featured in various articles and even newspapers showcasing that this rabbit hole extends far past just the online world. This act is clearly their obsession. I don't think it's just him though. Years, with the earliest I'm examples sure that there I are could others find doing coming it. from all the way back in 2018. And this Stephanie character seems to be his go-to alias, embodying it in even the literal sense. Like, so far, it is just him, but I could swear there was more people to as this. As in one of his many pages dedicated to this Stephanie character, he dresses as her, wearing a wig and a dress, as he pretends to be a 12-year-old girl. Mm. Almost immediately after this case began gaining traction, the true magnitude of this rabbit hole was revealed. Across every single account are countless depraved posts and oddities that all could warrant discussion. But by far the most important discoveries were those that didn't actually occur on his own page, and rather, the pages of other actual children. Do you like school? I do. It is good. You have some cool shirts, but I have to wear school uniforms to school. It is nice, but casual isn't allowed, and it's quite hot here in the UK, as the month of June suddenly got warmer. So he is in the UK. 
this is in the UK then. It is. These are two examples out of many that show Smart School Boy 9 reaching out- I swear bro, the internet, was, the internet was a mistake. ...to befriend young children online. In one comment, he even warns a child about other comments from bad people, stating that, It happens to most boys in our age group, but stay safe, stay cool, don't be dismayed by creeps. This is our best evidence you that are these the accounts creep. just- What do you mean? You are the one that's being the creep. ...made for age play. No, he's actually Don't be dismayed by the creeps. You are the creep. Other children. And given his overtly sexual interests and aversion to CP... We have un we had unrestricted access as kids, but we never had it this bad. Yeah, I feel like it's gotten worse with time. I do. Like when we were younger, like you know, you 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 had you could access anything. And to be fair, granted, because the internet was so unmonitored in the past, people could post whatever they wanted. But I still feel like it's worse nowadays because I feel like because more people are on the internet, more people are you know doing things creepy things they shouldn't be doing so i feel like although you could post whatever you wanted on the internet in the past now it's worse it feels like it's worse anyway especially because like i swear like every month we get a new person that's been outed as like a pdf file like with the whole chris tyson situation as well it just feels so much worse now it's not hard to gather why he was doing this and these examples are only what we found so far. It's possible that- Back then, we mainly were on platforms like Club Penguin, where there w where there's barriers and those websites didn't protect PDF files. Insta won't take these accounts down. No, they won't. or who they knows, won't. maybe even hundreds of other comments out there, hidden on unknown children's accounts. Like, this I can guarantee you behavior. this account is still the up. The man behind school- and if it isn't, he probably has like 70 different other accounts that are still up, so it doesn't even matter. Boy 9 is a predator. And in case there was still any doubt of whether or not this was a sexual thing, here's what he had to say about being a 13-year-old girl. But have his tactics actually worked? Well, the kids don't have many safe places on the internet like we did. It feels like it's, I feel like now, kids have to worry so much more on, about being on the internet now than we had to be. I mean, we had to worry about it, but it feels worse now because of big icons. Oh gosh, what did I do? Because big icons are like being outed, you know? And not just that, but like you say, there's less safe places now, I feel like, on the internet. And even if, even if you know, something goes down, accounts, these accounts aren't getting banned. So it doesn't even Who matter. Who knows if he's actually been successful or not, or even what specifically he's looking for. We just know that he's trying to reach kids, as evidenced not only by his comments, but by the fact that he's solely following children on all of these pages. And though it's easy to look at these accounts and know that something is off, for children, it's not that simple, especially when there's pages showcasing photos of actual kids, which brings up another frightening detail. And another thing, and this isn't anything against parents, I get it, but now parents will plaster their children all over the internet. And I, like I said, I'm not blaming the parents in that regard, but I'm just saying now the creeps can do that because, you know, families are plastering their children all over the internet. So now you have people like this guy taking advantage of that. And trying to trying to get in touch with them. So many of the images he's used of children have not been traced back. It's to so their messed original up. Creator, it's so messed and up. And some seem to appear for the very first time online publicly on this man's pages, which might mean that he was sent them privately. There's even one image that David posted on his schoolboy account, which shows another kid that he claimed to be on a playdate with. Though it's impossible to say if this is real or not. For now, we just don't know for sure. Though given the fact that he's reaching out to children, posting fetish content centered around children, and has even potentially photographed kids in the wild, one thing is for certain. Smart Schoolboy 9 needs to be stopped. Yeah, they, they should. There should be an investigation done because this is just what he's posted online. This isn't even to say what he has on his own personal hard drive. So, you know, I feel like he should be stopped. That's an obvious, but Finding will he? Man Probably not. Him to law enforcement quickly became the top priority for those investigating the case. And luckily, he left several glaring clues behind that made this process a whole lot easier. On numerous occasions across his many pages, he would post images and videos of specific locations, even showing streets and mentioning very particular areas in his poems all of which centered around the London area, immediately giving us an idea mm. of where he was located. So in the London area. And that wasn't all. I mentioned how the alias of Stephanie was one that he used more so than any other, but what's interesting is that there was another name used just as often across his accounts, brought up time and time again, 
though it's a name that he never seemed to call any of his characters. Instead, he simply referred to this person as a stepbrother or a father or even a friend from school, despite never actually picturing him, just mentioning his name, David. And sure enough, after connecting a few dots, it would be revealed that this person's actual name was in fact David, David Alter, with a man being 59 years old. <coughs> okay, yeah, so, um, have the police gone into this? Because now we have his full name, can we please investigate this? Can we please lock this person up? We now have his full name At and the his moment, age. It doesn't appear that David has any past criminal convictions or documented history. What do you of mean? His but we do know that thanks to the investigation done on Reddit and Discord, he is currently being investigated by local okay, authorities. Okay, okay, okay. He is being investigated. Thank God. And shine some more light on who this person actually is. I swear to At God, though, if they turn around and be like, "Oh, we can't make any." any charges against this person because he's actually not done anything particularly wrong yet it's going to be like are you joking because i feel like that's going to happen As for the time being the only other information that we really know about david is that he likes to write poetry and he makes music and his name also appears in a random newspaper where he's discussing the importance of kids wearing school uniforms. Oh, of course he is. Oh my god. And that's god. really all we have at the moment. Lock him up, lock him up Although and throw away the key. there is one very important aspect that we have yet to talk about in relation to this man, with that being David's mental state. Some believe that David is a mentally unwell. Ah, uh, see, I was right on the ball when I said it could be a psychological individual. issue. Still doesn't mean he shouldn't be locked up. He, he still should be locked up, but I could have been on the ball about it. He doesn't know the extent of what they are doing. Now, even if this is the case, his behavior still needs to be stopped. And he everything, needs to be given everything I've spoken no about is being said. Actions. But it is important to note that David is far more intelligent than he lets on, as his personal accounts show us that he is fairly well-spoken and articulate. And throughout his problematic content, most of his bad grammar and strange verbiage seems to be his attempts at more authentically trying to replicate a child. But it's impossible to know for sure. But what we do know is that David is extremely manipulative, with his response to the situation and other clues littered across his accounts showing us that he seems to know what he's doing and he knows that it's wrong. Okay, so maybe he is like- Since the exposure of David's you accounts, know, he, he does hasn't know. silently slithered away like most other predators would. Instead, he's actually responded on more than a few occasions, lashing out to those who have DM'd him, calling them the perverts and predators. He even left a comment on his Joanne account seemingly directed at himself, writing, you are really sad. And if that's your name, David, be honest with yourself. You're 50, as you said elsewhere. You reply to me, a girl, as if I'm your buddy? No chance ever. This is something David does all the time. It's projection. And it started all the way back at the beginning of this rabbit hole. So, that's the account run by a man pretending to be a boy. <laughs> and he continued posting these predator exposés, along with other warnings about predators. I think it is a psychological issue. Predators on the internet across every page he made, each of which being hyper-specific to his own predatory ways and fetishes. Mm. The things he accuses others of are blatant projections of his own dark vices. And I can think of two reasons why. Number one, that this makes his account look safer to other parents and children. It gives the appearance that he's not another internet creep because he's actively calling them out. Mm. It's a way to build trust in order to befriend and exploit kids. And number two, he knows what he's doing is wrong. And this is his bizarre way of self-reporting, probably to make himself feel better about what he's doing. And it's obvious based on just how accurate these claims against others are to him. Does he wish he were a young boy in a school classroom looking nice and being successful at school? Yes. And these claims are made over and over again, as each time he calls someone out, he's further exposing himself. Which becomes more concerning when you realize that these projections seemingly aren't strictly pedophilic. Within those eerily familiar expose posts he made on Truth Sticks 11, he mentions how this user not only wanted to exploit children online, but they wanted to kill them as well as he mentions that this user has a clear interest in cannibalizing kids Jesus and even performing Christ. ritualistic sacrifices on them. 
And based on how accurate all of the other exposures are to himself, I have no reason to believe that this isn't part of his MO as well, as crazy as that may sound. This also seems to coincide with some of the content he's posted that I can't show you, as some of these photos show children edited in contorted positions, including some where he's added what appears to be rope to give the illusion that they're tied up. And what makes this even more disturbing is that on his accounts, he's posted numerous photos in the vicinity of schools, on nearby secluded trails, and even some where he discusses what time school starts and ends, saying that he likes to be awake and ready for it. There's even photos that show other children outside from a distance, almost as if David was stalking them. This is highly concerning. Even if we don't know truly how low this man's perversions get, he is still far too close to children, which is perfectly encapsulated by this photo of him on a school playground during the day. And with his disturbing desires, I don't even want to imagine what he's capable of. Which brings us to the final piece of content that I need to talk about. Chasing another boy running in heeled mini boots. This was the text shown on screen during a short video posted onto one of David's many accounts. And in the video, we see the man pointing the camera at himself, showing his full face of white makeup and red lipstick. This video is edited more egregiously than any others I've seen across his page, with multiple explicit images and huge emojis covering the majority of the screen. Though just barely enough of the footage can be seen that shows David as he turns the camera around, revealing a young boy. <laughs> who he then proceeds to chase after, giggling all the while. That is absolutely messed up. That's disgusting. Okay, no, no matter what happens during the investigation, he needs to be locked up. Like, surely the police know this. He needs to be locked up. Whether this was an edited video or a real occurrence, we don't currently- I don't know how you'd edit that, though. No. I don't think David's that's edited. Are a mystery that will take some time to unravel. I think he went and genuinely did that, especially if you take into the fact that he is actually going out and taking pictures. So, I, I think no matter what here, he needs to be locked up. Think about what I said about jail or hospital. This is a job for Matthias and hitmen. Oh, for Mr. mafias and hitmen. I thought that's a Matthias. And... On this individual. Sorry, text was a bit small. To his twisted behavior, but at this point, only one thing is for sure. The story of Smart Schoolboy 9 is far from over. Mm. All information shown in this video has been archived and sent to the law enforcement who have been investigating this case for the last uh, for the past few weeks. Okay. So everything's been sent to the police. Hopefully, we'll find out that uh he is, you know, been locked up or at least he's been sent to court and whatnot.